Hey guys, Cindy out here with my Arts Endeavors. How are we doing? Um, I'm having a very nice creative day and it's making me very happy. So, <laughs> I'm doing good. You guys recognize this? This is our pick 10. I still haven't done my beads yet, but we will. We'll do those one of these days. Alright, so, pick 10. Um, and you know, I've been thinking about it and I woke right up straight out of bed the other night and I've got to add more prompts into these because there's certain things I want to to do. So, anyways, let's find our page. Okay, this was last month. Here we go. This is for this next month, which is the month of April. All right. I have a whole bunch of stuff here on my desk because I've been doing a bunch of filming. Um, but we're just going to go with this and see what happens. So, let's start out with our first stick round and round. I'm not looking. I'm actually looking out my window and looking at the beautiful white tree. And we're going to start out with stamping. Hmm. Okay, we can do that. You know why? Because I just recently, um, these are the stamps that I use for my backgrounds and stuff. And I just recently purchased these. This is a part of a set for Bow Bunny. So let's stamp. All right, and another thing I'm doing is I'm trying to make myself use my archival inks. I don't know if I want to go with blue. Let's start with this bright tangelo. Let's see, what else have we got? And let's go with plum. How's that sound? Sounds good to me. Um, trying to find my, this is just index cards. I need my, there it is. I knew I had my little stamp tool out here a minute ago, so. All right, let's just start out with these little wiggles, squiggles. And again, this is part of Bow Bunnies. Um, it's a set. I don't remember the name of it. I'm not good with stuff like that. Have you guys noticed that? I'm really not good with that kind of stuff. So let's just do some random stamping. Like it. I like the fact that it's not all perfect, which nothing and nobody is perfect, so I don't mind that. All right, so there's our Tangelo. Now let's take, let's do this one. These don't even feel like they're gonna stay on that piece of plastic, but they do. Let's take this plum, and we've got Ranger Archival Ink is what this is. do it this way. So now um, I saw the other night that Mary did a live and she did one of my pick tens and it was so funny because I didn't realize I moved through these as quick as I do. But I, I hope you guys have fun doing these. I enjoy it. They're a lot of fun. Now if you notice I'm not um, intentionally making a perfect stamp which that's cool. Works for me. Just kind of using the ink up that's on the on the stamp now. All right, there we go. So that was number one. Number one was to stamp, and we did just that. You know, these pages um, when we do these, they don't have to be complicated. Um, you know, just do what it says. So we started with a stamp. Here we go. Number two is use gelatos. And you know what's funny about this? I have to tell you, I didn't have any gelatos. And look what my girlfriend sent me the other day. <laughs> oh, they're cool. And there's um, a couple of them are metallic. So this one is metallic grape. I'm going to move this over here. And... This is the other metallic, blueberry. Then this is just red cherry, and this is lime. So you know what, we're gonna go with this, and I wanna see a couple things. First thing I wanna see, they smudge. Let's get my finger wet. Let's get my finger wet. Hmm, hmm, mm hmm. Let's do it with a baby wipe. Let's try that. I just wanna I'm going to play with these a little bit and see what happens. Well, that I kind of like. 
trying not to get anything on this other page um, just because you know it feels like I'm wiping it right back off when I use the baby wipe hmm okay let me put some more purple down there yeah see it feels like it's wiping it right back off which I think is what it's doing that's all right we're playing right that's all that matters just play have fun Put a little bit more here. Okay. Now let's see. I want to do something with this red. Let's take the red. I have a jelly plate sitting here, so we're going to use it. I'm just going to take some red and maybe put it out on my jelly plate. Well, it doesn't like a jelly plate, does it? Not really doesn't like to go on a jelly plate. Hmm, isn't that interesting? Let's try, see if I got any of it, a little bit. Just put it on here. Let's just take it from the top of this. That'll probably be easier. And we're just putting some color down just because we don't know what it's going to turn out like, but that's okay. We don't we don't need to know yet. Okay, this red to me um, looks more like a. See how red it is in the tube? It looks really red, like a scarlet red. That's not what it's coming out as. See, it's coming out more like a mauve, which I think is kind of cool actually. And this says the name of it is red cherry oh well, maybe some i don't know about red cherry but i like this though i like the color all right so we're just like i said i'm putting color down just playing you guys can put your gelato down any way you'd like if you have a special way that you use your gelatos um go for it all right, so there's those. Let's see what's next. Onward and upward. Okay. Number three. Where'd my sticks go? Right here. Number three, we've got punched pieces. You know, that's really cool, actually, because I have right over here behind me, Look at this little tin. Um, this was actually a Neo Color tin. And what I did, when I get so many scraps, they start driving me crazy. I will take them out to the couch, usually when I'm watching a movie with my husband. Um, I'll grab a bunch of punches and I'll take. Pardon me, my gosh. <laughs> yawn just came and I couldn't stop it um I will take a bunch of my scraps and a bunch of my punches out and I will either sit and die cut a bunch of stuff which the top tray is die cuts oh the bottom tray is borders so must be I got rid of a lot of the punch stuff but you know what we're going to use these die cuts as our punch stuff today so let's see what we have in here this is actually from a punch we can use that. Um, yeah, there's both in here. There's actually punched and die cuts. So see, here's the, the tray that I'm going to look out from. This is cool. That's a die cut. Here's another one of those punches that I've used. Let's see if I can find one more. And we'll use these. Let's see. Um, here's another one, maybe. No, oh, that one's a blue one. This one? Here we go. There we go. So we have three of those. I love that heart. Let me move this out of the way. And these are punched pieces. I'm going to take the middles out. I like these. These are really cool. So what I'm going to do, believe it or not, I'm just going to stick them down. Let's stick them down and see what happens. So I'm just going to stick this part down. 
right there. I'm basically sticking the middle down. And hopefully, um, maybe a little bit later on, it'll say, you know, play or doodle or whatever. Bling. Let's just put you here. You know what? I think I'm going to want this one here. And I'm going to put this one over here. I don't know why, but that's just where I decided I wanted them. And then, I love this heart. Let's put the heart on here. This one's actually a die cut. This one I don't believe I have a punch in, but that's okay. You know, if you don't have punches and you have die cuts, that's fine. Use those. If you don't have die cuts, then take a pair of scissors. Cut something out. It's all good. Oops. Get back here, you. It's all good. Lay that down. All right. So there's that punched pieces. I need to get this tray out more often because there's a lot of really cool stuff in here that I should be using. All right, so let's see what number four is. Number four is, missed it. What's this one? Use a baby wipe. All right, well, I was doing that with the gelato. So let's, I wanna put some more color in here. So let's take some of this. I've got some paint here, some green. Um, and I like the green on this. Actually, you know what? Maybe I'll use yellow instead. No, we're going back to green. Go with my gut. Gut says green. That's what I'm using. So I'm going to take ugh, a little bit of this green. And then I'm going to grab one of my stencils. Um, I'm looking just for a... Uh, let's see. Mm -hmm. like that right there. That'll work. Do, do, do. All right. These are my six by six stencils that I absolutely love. So I'm going to take this stencil, move you guys over a little bit, and I'm going to use this that I've already got the purple on, so I'm not wasting any. I'm going to take some of this green paint and I just want to go through the stencil with the green paint. Right? Doesn't have to be crazy. It can just be a little bit here, a little bit there. See, now I'm getting too much paint on here because it's um, leaving the thick lines. But that's okay. I mean, it's no big deal. Let's put this here, maybe here. Um, let's throw a little bit here. I like that. So we just added a little bit of that green that's in the flowers. So that's cool. And that was using a baby wipe. All right. See, like I said, these can be very, very simple. They don't have to be complicated. You don't have to overthink it. Um, you know what? I'm still going to use this baby wipe. I'm going to go around here with a little bit of green. Um, you definitely don't have to overthink it. Just play, have fun, let the page come, and um, be what it's going to be. It's all good. So let's just add a little bit of that green. Yeah, I like that. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. What's next? So that was number four. So we have a stamp, use gelatos, um, punched pieces, and use a baby wipe. And here we go. Number five is That's empty. <laughs> use green. <laughs> ah, that's hilarious. All right, so let me think. How else am I going to use some green? I'm actually going to use this green masking tape. Uh, as soon as I find the end of it. 
That was just too funny. Use green. Huh. What I'm going to do with this green, so I'm going to make sure these guys have maybe stems. Why not? My kitty cat's telling me it's di pardon me, dinner time, and it's not. That one has a stem. <coughs> Getting a, caught, uh, something caught in my throat. Yeah, this one's going to have a stem in the middle of nowhere. Nothing wrong with that, is there? I don't mind. Flower's got to have a base somewhere. So let's see. We'll put this one here. Do -do. I think it's allergies. Allergies. All right. So there's more green that we've got put down. I love it. And then now I'm just going to put some more around the edges. That piece I don't want. Let's put it right here. I love doing these. They're just so much fun. You never know what it's going to end up looking like. And, you know, I think that's what I love about it is just the randomness. And, you know, how it, it takes a little bit of challenge to figure out how to put the randomness together. But you can do it. Let's put you right there. And I'll take this last piece and put it right here. Okay. Now, next up, we've done our first five, so our next up is what's this one dots oh i love my dots but first i need to get some of this stuff off my desk so i'll be right back all right so i got a bunch of stuff kind of pushed around on my desk at least so i can move now all right so now let's say you don't have any markers all right you can use your paint to do dots it's so simple um, I'm just going to put a little bit of this teal paint down here. I'm going to use the end of my paintbrush. And that's all there is to it. So, we're going to play. And we're going to put in some dots. some more dots. I like this teal. Alright, so there's dots. Now I want to do some more, so I'm going to do this black. Move this out of the way so I don't put my hand in it. I like to do that. Just going to do some black dots around the edge here a little bit. quiet and concentrating putting down my dots. You know that takes concentration. <laughs> okay. Alright, so I'm done with my dots. Alright, number seven is 
Um, this one. Close your eyes and draw. Oh boy. <laughs> All right. Well, first, before I draw anything, I want to, um, what do you call it? I want to dry up these dots so that I'm not smearing them all over the place. So I'll be right back. All right, guys, so I'm gonna close my eyes and draw. So first thing I'm gonna do, I'll make sure these are dry. They're almost dry. Uh, I might mess them up, but. All right, here we go. You guys can't see me, but I am gonna close my eyes and draw. So Let's see, I already got paint on me. Close my eyes. Here's my page. Ready? Eyes are closed. I don't know if this is any good. Let's see. Maybe here. Let's see. How about here? All right. Eyes are open. Not too bad. This one, the pen didn't write all the way, so let's copy right over that line. Not too bad, I guess. Oh, that one's on my flower. So that one's right here. All right, well, that was interesting. So I've basically added a lot of nothing to that. Okay. <laughs> so that's number seven. All right, let's see what number eight is. Number eight is you. Use a palette knife. Okay, I can do that. I can use a palette knife. But, um, I gotta find a palette knife. Here's a palette knife. What do I want to use with it? How about, um, do I want to use paint? Do I want to use, you know what? I think I'm gonna use some medium. Hang on. Let me get out. Uh, modeling cream. Uh, da, 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 da. No, we're going to get out some turquoise. Actually, I should get pink. Do I have pink? That'll work. That's a Bordeaux color. And we're going to grab a small stencil. Let's see what stencil we want to grab. There's too much of that, so let me see. Whoops. No, I don't want that one. Small stuff. Let's do some uh, do I want circles. No. Let's do some of these guys, I guess. Come on. Open says me. Some of these guys. Alright, so I have a palette knife, which is what my prompt is. I have a little tiny stencil, and this is called Ferro. It's from Viva, and um, it's basically, it's like a, a glittery um, modeling cream. It's the easiest way to put it. So we're just going to start playing. I love the texture of this. It's just really, really cool. See it? I know you can see it, but you can't feel it. It feels so cool. Awesome. Love it. So I actually picked these up in a shop here in um, South Carolina. Um, it's called Scrapbooks by the Sea. And um, I met the beautiful owner in there. She's such a sweet girl. And she is the person that um, asked me if I would do that mannequin that you guys may have seen the video on. Um, so I'm really, really going to have fun with that. It's taken a bit to get to it because I needed, um, we needed to do our closing and get settled. And yeah, sometimes you just can't create, you know, winging it. I have a hard time. I really found that in order for me to be really creative, I have to be in my art space. 
Um, I'm not saying that I can't create other places, but it's just not the same. Oh, it just left color. That's okay. I'm going to put another one right here. So we're using a palette knife. All right, I like those. Here's my palette knife. Throw that in some water. Now, like I said, I normally don't clean my stencils, but because this is the paste that it is, I will clean this off. It's not going to be perfect, but hey, at least the stencil's still working. So there we go. All right, so we use the palette knife. What is that? Seven, eight. We've got two more left. Um, let's see what we've got, and then I'll see if I need to dry it. Round and round. Here we go. What about you? Use blue. Okay. Let me dry this first, though, because I don't want those to be smudged. So the first thing I'm going to do is dry this up. Okay, so we've got blue. It says to use blue. So, hmm. I'm thinking, let's see, maybe we can take, this is one of those um, Simply Simons I told you about that I take. It's an angle shader, but a lot of times I'll cut it down, I'll cut it off just to be a little bit closer. Um, and then I use it as like a little scrubber. So what I'm going to do, let's see if this works the way I want it to. It is. I want to put blue on here, but I want to be kind of light-handed with it. Um, that works. So I'm putting blue on here, but I'm being gentle with it. Let's put it that way. You know, and I may even just do some in here too. Why not? here. Let's see, I want some blue in here. I'm using blue, just having fun. You know, um, that's what this is all about. You know, I, I don't think it's so much as the, the composition piece. Um, itself as it is to playing. Just playing and having fun. Why not? You know? So, you know, if something really cool turns out on it, awesome. If it doesn't, that's awesome too. It's just a way to play and have fun and look at your supplies a little bit differently. I mean, it's okay. You don't have to make a, a, you know, a masterpiece every time you play around with your supplies. And that's not what Pick 10 is about. So. Now, like I said, guys, I started these Pick 10s with the Art Junkie. Um, and then she got really ill and I just continued them, um, you know, with her blessing. Because it's just, I know I enjoy doing them. So... You know, why not share that love of doing it? So let me just one on a little bit more right there. All right, just because. Now, um, I also want to use, I did use some blue paint, but I want to use some blue marker. And what I want to do is I want to I like these flowers a little bit in the blue. Just a little bit, just to wake them up. Because they're kind of getting lost in the page. So I don't want that to happen. So just to wake them up a little bit. See, there they are. Pretty flowers. I know this page looks crazy, doesn't it? Maybe it'll say, the next one will say, take gesso and white out your whole page. <laughs> Wouldn't that be funny? That'd be number 10. So I'd end up with a white page. <laughs> 
See, it's things like that, different things like that, that I want to put into the prompts. Because I think that would be funny, you know, you're doing all this work and then, okay, um, you know, use gesso and white out your whole page and, you know, add purple paint, whatever. So I definitely am going to upgrade my um, prompts to just have more fun. So you'll see those coming soon. So I'm just, like I said, I'm just kind of waking up these flowers a little bit. Probably should have done it in a darker color, but that's okay. I like the blue. And it's fun. We're playing. All right? What else can I do for blue? I've got a blue here. What else can we do? Let's take this blue. Let's go around and just put dots in these. Why not? Alright. Okay, I think I'm done with the blue. So let's go on to number 10. Numero uno 10. There's used blue. Here we go. And let's pick you. Old book pages. How am I going to get old book pages to work on this page? Hmm. I can do that, but i got to find some book pages. Um, actually, I think I have right here. I do. This is an old book. Hence, these are pages. And uh, maybe that page doesn't want to come out, so let's try another one. Come on. Come on, come on. Pardon me. Mm, sorry about that, guys. I'd say it's allergy season here in the south, which is fine. It's all good. I have my window open because I just, the, the weather here is just crazy amazing. I know everybody's saying, wait till the summer. That's all right. I'll take it. I will take it. All right. So it says to use old book pages. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to do some, oops, and we're going to have some fun with these. I'm not sure I'm going to need all these, but that's okay. I can put them in my um, other drawer if I don't need them all. So what do we do with these? We are going to... I wonder if I should color them. I think I might color these. Let's move this over. Didn't say we couldn't color them, did it? So old book pages. I'm going to take some of this purple. And we're going to color some old book pages. Doo -doo. There's one. What am I doing? I don't know. <laughs> I'm just going with the flow right now because I'm not really sure where or how I want to put these on there. I just know I don't want them just plain old book text. Um, so I'm coloring them. And I'm coloring them with purple. Oh geez, let's see, maybe I'll do a few in blue. Okay, we can do that. There's a blue. My husband's sneezing too. Here's a blue. It's all good. I think we're going to order Mexican for dinner tonight. Doesn't that sound yummy? Gosh, I love Mexican food. All right, and you know what? We have some teal here. Let's throw some teal on a couple. Oops, not on my fingernail. There's a teal. 
There's another teal. All right, and we'll do one more teal, why not? Okay, so what are we gonna do with these? We're just gonna apply. Let me dry them up really quick. These two are not done. And we'll just go like this, hit them. Just so they're dry, what's this? Nothing. Okay, that's good. All right, and let's see what we can do with them. All right, so I just want to grab the glue stick and we're going to do something with these. Where's my glue stick? Right here. playing guys um, just having fun with the prompt and just doing whatever I feel like with the prompt why not you know you can you can do whatever you want with the prompts if it says use blue and you want to cover it all in blue go for it it's not like you have to have let me see if this will come up yes it will yay Let's take this one. We'll make these go all the way down. Come on. Look at that. Cool beans. Take some purple and put it at the end here. So I'm just incorporating old book text into this page. Um, you know, is it perfect? No, that's all right. I don't need it to be. I think it's fun. Where's my other flat always right here? A little one. Let's do a little one. Beauty beauty flower, right there. So there's an itty bitty flower. Now let's just take a little bit of these and we're just gonna go like this. Are they leaves? No, they don't have to be. They can be whatever you want to think they are. Maybe they're stems of other flowers. Maybe they're, um, I don't know, maybe it's another, maybe it is a leaf. Maybe it's a, let's put you here. Come on. Maybe it's just another part of the stem. Who knows? They're fun, right? Fun, 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 fun. All right, I got that little piece. Let's see, I got a couple more pieces. What I'm gonna do is do the whole thing. So I'll end up using most of it. Come on. There. Put that there. Whoops. Stuck to my finger. All right, you don't want to stand there? Fine. Go away. We'll put you there. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed this month's Pick 10. As always, it's a fun challenge. Um, just something to play around with and enjoy. And don't forget to share what you do on my Facebook page, Artsy Endeavors, because I love to see what you guys create. And there is no such thing as good or bad or I'm not good enough or I'm, you know, you're too good. doesn't matter. Just play. Have fun with the prompts. Um, share what you do. I'd love to see. 
Um, and I think that's it for this month. This is a crazy page. Um, as always, have fun. That's what life's all about. Happy creating. And I will talk to you guys next time. Have a great day. Bye.